How you doing? This is Yaakov here with a beautiful idea and continuing the series that we started. We have a short paragraph right now to go, which is part four, and we'll start it right now. But beforehand, I'm going to preface. Um, by the way, I hope everybody's Sabbath was good. hope everybody's weekend is going well. I um, just want to start it off. Um, before we, many, many videos ago, um, I clarified with people explaining um, really what being Jewish is really all about, um, whether religious or not religious, um, secular or or the opposite, um, whatever a person feels. Um, in within the Jewish within a Jewish person, just like everybody has DNA from their ancestors, within the within the Jewish ancestors we have Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, guaranteed. In order to be Jewish and nowadays we're talking about Avram, Yitzchak and Yaakov. Even a person who converts, really the main thing that's that a person is capable of converting with is with the abilities, with the power of Avram, Yitzchak and Yaakov. Because the, these with these abilities a person can perceive godliness in a way to be able to keep the commandments. In order to in order to keep the commandments, the full commandments of the Torah, you have to you have to basically align with the desires of of Jewish law. Now, there's no obligation that every human being in the whole earth has to do Jewish law. No way. That's uh nobody nobody anybody who says that is wrong. So, but there there are no matter what the situation is, every human being without question what the real what the real meaning of a Jewish soul is is the ability to perceive godliness from within. Okay, so Jewish people have a natural ability, a natural within DNA alone from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But every human being also, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, no matter what the situation is, okay, has the ability to want God no matter what the situation is. Because from that standpoint, when, when a person wants God, it's not on the level to, to, to try to keep all the commandments. It's on the level of wanting to know the truth, wanting to know who God is, wanting to know, uh, what, you know what's happening in the world, wanting to know what's happening in life. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I'm about to read something so that people should understand. And then I'm going to be speaking about, on one hand, yes, a Jewish person. And on the other hand, I'm speaking about everyone who wants godliness. Okay, because the in-depth real meaning of again to be Jewish is that there is an ability to perceive godliness. Okay, that I want. I'm searching for God. I'm, I'm looking for. I'm not looking at the facades from the outside. I'm looking from within. I want to see the truth. I want to see what's happening inside. I want to feel it. I want to feel and see what's real. Okay. Okay. All right, sorry. Here we go. Okay. Perfect. Here we go. Ah. You should know that God derives glory even from the most insignificant of the children of Israel, even from the sinners of Israel. Why is that why is that why is that so important? Every single person, so long as they are called by the name Israel, that, that person is called by the name Israel, gives God a particular glory that no one else can give. No. We again we said before, godliness ability to perceive godliness as long as a person wants God okay as long as a person wants God as long as a person wants calls himself no matter what the situation is no matter how bad or how sorry no matter how bad the fall that a person feels that they're in whether Jewish non-Jewish a person who's fallen falling to certain places Okay, has to know 100% that as long as you call yourself a believer in God, you believe in God, okay? Or you're Jewish, you call yourself Jewish, meaning you call yourself a believer in God, you so call yourself the name Israel. Israel is the one who cares about God. Avinu Shabbat Shemayim, Father in Heaven, the, which is a name, but God above all these names. Who cares about everybody, who loves everybody, who created everything, who, who appreciates, who wants to have mercy on his creation. You call yourself a believer in God, no matter how far you've fallen, okay? God takes pride in you.
guaranteed. So it follows that no one should ever despair. No one should ever despair of God. Even if a person has caused great damage, God forbid, God's love for that person has not ceased. He's not like a human. God's not like a human. Please, please understand God's not a human. Okay, God has a lot, lot uh, infinity patience. He waits to the last breath. So, <laughs> and sometimes many, many incarnations as well. So, <laughs> he still loves a person throughout all of it. This person can still return to God. It is the men of truth who are able to detect the goodness and the glory that can be found even in the worst of men and to draw up everything to God. Meaning, we spoke about the real leaders last time, the true tzaddikim, the real tzaddikim. They have the ability to be able to see the good, the good within people, and to be able to draw it out. Because the truth is, everyone has good. Everyone has a good, everyone has a good, good point, good spark. I remember what a certain rabbi, he said, um, if God, let's say God said, on Sabbath, nobody, no one can touch the light bulb, right? No one can touch, no, sorry, no one can touch the light, right? He said, if it was God's law and that he would have punished a person on the spot for for touching the light, he said, even Yasser Arafat, he said, he said, it doesn't matter who it is, even, even a terrorist, okay, would, would, would be like, would be like, hey, don't touch that. Like, it would be obvious because it's a cause and effect. Okay? It's like putting your hand in the fire. You, you, wouldn't ju you just wouldn't do it. After the first person did it by accident, you'd be like, oh my God, everybody's nuts. I just wouldn't do it. Okay? So, there's free will here. And we have to understand it's confusing for ourselves. All the different things that are happening, the tests that are going on in the world, people, all the all the all the different all the different drugs, all the different video games, all the different books, all the different. There's just we're in the information age, age of knowledge. There's so much, but at the same time, not everything is kosher knowledge. Not everything is gonna is knowledge that will help you. Not everything is based on truth. Okay, not everything is going to actually help you achieve eternal success. Some things will help. Temporary. Sometimes we need to do temporary solutions. Sometimes long-term solutions. But we have to understand, even if you're very, very far away, God takes pride in you. God loves you. It doesn't matter. That, that, that's, not, that's something you have to come to grips with. That's something every person, whether you're Jewish or not, you got to say, he doesn't care. Right now, he's not caring. God's not thinking, oh, I wish you were Jewish. Oh, I wish you... you 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 were more righteous. Oh, I wish you know. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what he. He's not thinking. He's thinking that I love you exactly how you are, from where you are. You want to believe in me. You want to get closer to me, but you have trouble. That's fine. I still love you. I still appreciate you. I still, I still want. But that's why the last sentence we read. We have to associate with men of truth, men of truth, men of real truth, who have real goodness can draw up that goodness. That good desire. There are tons of people that I know have such good hearts, but they're constantly involved in sinning from, from when I grew up. Okay? They're constantly involved in certain things. Is it wrong what they're doing? They don't know any better. What do you want from them? Or it's very difficult. It's extremely difficult, even if they did know how to get out of that situation. But if they met the right person, the right person to encourage them on a daily basis, or the right friend to encourage them on a daily basis, to be with them, to hang out with them, whatever situation... Okay, they would be able to excel like tremendously but because of the surroundings because of everything that's going on in the world all the different I want to say crap excuse my language that that's going on in the world it's kind of difficult for people to see through that and to be able to accomplish really everything that they want and they may not be able to see really all the goodness that, that they really want to actually manifest so we really really very much need to put an emphasis on searching for the men of truth who can find the good within you to help you filter out all the things that are not you, the, the choices that you don't want to be yours, the life that you don't want to be yours. Because in essence, we all want God. We all want to perceive godliness. We all want to find solutions. I want to be on a line, a long line. Because how many people in life are on a long line? Especially if you go to Disney World, you're on a long line, or you're, whatever you're going, you're, you're walking in grocery store, you're on a long line. And how about finding peace in that line? That's a spiritual thing right there. Oh, it's emotional. No, it's emotional is spiritual. That's a misconception. So, just to be able to wake up, to recognize godliness, 
You want to perceive godliness? It doesn't matter how far, you, far you've fallen. It doesn't matter where you are. Realize God cares about you and He loves you. And He takes pride in you. You believe in Him. You want to believe in Him more. He takes pride in you. Now from there, where you go? Where do you go? Go look for the right people who can help you draw out all the good things that you want. Go look for people. We're, we're right here. I'm doing my best. Everybody's doing their best. But there are people right there with you. There are people right there with you that, that can help. If you just ask, if you just look, if you just have just a little bit more brave. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. We're all going through real things. And as much help as we're getting here on the phone and on videos and Facebook. I had a friend. I used to, I'm a, I like to play drums. Just uh, I'm a drummer uh, for many years. And I had a friend. I used to go to Guitar Center in Florida. I'm from Florida. And um, my friend, Chris, came up to me and said, okay, I spoke to him. I was like, oh, how you doing, Chris? And he's like, oh, I'm fine, everything good. I was like, what did you do for the weekend? He's like, this was years ago, but I couldn't forget the story. Um, he said to me, he said to me, uh, he's like, yeah, my friends and I, um, on Saturday night, we were like, for like, for like, from like 5 p.m. to 11 p.m., we were trying to discuss what we were going to do, where we were going to go, where we're going to go meet up <laughs> everything he said he said it didn't work he said it didn't work out he said he said it and oftentimes it hasn't it's been really hard to, for that to work out he says but the one night so for five hours we we're just sitting here discussing it and together so we were together on the phone on facebook discussing it but he said th the one weekend last weekend he said we didn't discuss anything and we just got on the phone and said, hey, where are you going to go? No, 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 no. So and so, let's go. You know, made plans five, ten minutes. Took, took to make plans at most, maybe even less. Okay. And within an hour, hour and a half, everybody met up and they had a great time. But they were on Facebook and they were trying to discuss where they wanted to go for five hours. They just ended up getting into a conversation and bye-bye the night. So as much help as people are getting from everything for Facebook, I'm very, anything, anything, any, anywhere there's help, anywhere there's good things to say, it's great where it's found, it's wonderful. But also realize, thank God there are people right in front of you also. And, uh, and God has many, many messengers and he can help, just like he can, he can help you through your phone, <laughs> you better believe he can help you not on your phone too. And may you be blessed. May you meet those men of truth. May you may you may it be revealed that you are one of those people, and you're going to help people, not just someday, today, tomorrow. And if you need help, there are people there. There, there are people that will always be there. Just be willing. Be open. You'll get. You'll get. You'll get it. You'll get all the things that you need. You'll get everything you need. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah, sorry. <laughs>